Hi, this is Bowhunter1515, and uh, we're going to make a homemade bow target today. Alright, here are some of the tools you're going to need. A um, couple knives, um, utility knives, um, duct tape, tape measure, and for material, you're going to have to, oh, we're going to be using um, some old carpet. That's what we're going to make the target out of. So, it's going to be 16 by 18. And then we're going to layer it like that so it comes down on top and you shoot into this part right here. So, that's the plan. Okay, so we're just starting to mark it out. Use the tape measure, 18 inches across, 16 inches um, down. Mark that out and then use a straight edge. Just go right down and go ahead and mark it. So then you have a line to go on to um, cut on. So we're going to go ahead and cut this. Alright, so we have our first square. Now we're just going to use this and just keep going down and cutting out enough so that I'm not really sure how many it's going to take, but take quite a few. Okay, so we've got what we've been doing is just I've been marking these out. I've been using this, it's the first one I cut. And, uh, so they're all the same size. Just mark them down with the marker. We switch to the padding now. Marking those. Now. And um, I'm just gonna. I've been using scissors to cut the padding because it makes it a lot easier. I've cut quite a few squares so far. So I'm just gonna cut this out. The knife doesn't really work too well on this padding stuff. So. Probably have a bigger pair of scissors. Another square. All right, so we have all of our carpet squares cut. Um, we've got twelve of these, and one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve of the carpet and eleven of the padding squares cut. We've got ten inches. So, that should stop some arrows. Um, I layered them. Oh, let's see, let's see. I layered the carpet. I put the back one of these down, face down, like this. And then, um, 
put a padding down, and then another piece of carpet, then another padding, and another. So on both sides, I have this back side of the carpet. So and it's pretty, pretty good. Should stop a lot of arrows. So. Okay, so we got her. Took the duct duct tape and went around both sides. So we got. It's pretty. Let's see how wide it is. All right, it went down to about nine inches. So we lost. Squeezed down. It's an inch. We squeezed it down an inch and um, duct taped it up. So it's together nicely. You have to just make sure you uh, get all these all the corners to line up before you duct tape it together. Make sure it's all nice and square. So that's what we have now. All right. So we've got some more supplies here. We have Gorilla tape. Saran wrap and some more duct tape. So, I think what I'm going to do is take the saran wrap and go around the edges, this all the way around, pack it down in there nice and tight, and then go over it with duct tape and um, just so to make sure it stays all together. I wasn't listening to that. 